Start off by attaching the red 70 denier to the hook shank just behind the bead and wrapping back to about the midpoint of the shank. Then I'm going to bring in about four to five strands of natural pheasant tail. And when I put these into place, I want to make sure that the finished tail is going to be about the same length as the hook shank. So once I get those secured, I'm going to wrap back and I'm going to work part way down the bend of the hook. Once I'm there, I'm going to return my thread up to where I tied those in. Quick snip to get those out of the way and return my thread right up behind the bead. Now I'm going to bring in a piece of large pearl tinsel and I'm just going to catch this right behind the bead. I'm going to wrap back all the way down to where my tail fibers are. Once I reach this point and I get ready to return my thread, I'm going to give it a quick counterclockwise spin just to open that up. And then as I return these wraps, I just want to make sure that they're side by side. I'm trying to create a nice uniform red underbody so that that kind of shines through and radiates through the tinsel as I move forward. Now I'm going to grab the tinsel and as I wrap this forward I want to apply a decent amount of pressure to it. I also want to make sure that my wraps overlap so I get a nice segmented appearance with the body. And I'm going to wrap all the way up right behind the bead. Once I get to that location, I'm going to lock it down with a couple fern wraps and then pull it back over the top. I'm going to wrap back to just add or behind that hook point. I'm going to add a little bit of tack to the thread here with some loon swax. And then come in with some Wapsi Rainbow Sow Scud dubbing. And all I'm going to do here is just create a nice firm little dubbing rope. Once I have that rope built, I'm going to start to wrap it forward. And I want to apply a firm amount of pressure. Just trying to build this thorax up to about the same width as the bead. When I have that accomplished, I'm going to pull that tinsel forward over the top of the thorax. Make sure I secure it with several firm wraps. And then pull it back over the top. You want to build up a little bit of a red collar on this fly. It helps to act as a little hot spot. Once you have that accomplished, you can come in with your scissors. Snip off that tinsel there and whip finish the fly.